You guys want to talk about my Kingdom Hearts 4 theory? Because I'm starting to think that I'm kind of right. I'm Abby with Motor City Nerds, and let's talk about Kingdom Hearts 4. So I don't really cover a lot of games, but a, a channel that gave me a shout out, because I, I think I commented, but the Hearts Divergence, I made a little short about them. He makes really he makes really cool Kingdom Hearts content, and when I can't keep up with stuff, he's one of those channels that I just really like, so go check him out. But yeah, uh, I'm starting to think that I'm right. So I'm going to roll the clip right here of me talking about this and how the comparisons to Final Fantasy X are so similar. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, oh my god, is Kingdom Hearts just an elaborate dream Xanarkand? And then the more and more I thought about the series, I was like, oh my god, this is very similar. And Nomura worked on Final Fantasy X, if I'm not mistaken. Some crazy shit. Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts shit. She gets murdered, though. But we can't say murdered and we can't say killed because it's Kingdom Hearts and Disney. But she then says... She then says, it's, this is like an afterworld for us, but for the people living here, it's not. It's their lives and normal life and this, that, and the other. And for me and you, it's this afterworld. And I think that's why Donald and Goofy were trying to get a hold of Hades. Hades might not be a part of afterworld or whatever they're saying. And I think that's very convenient that it's close to Otherworld, which is the opening music for Final Fantasy X at the Blitzball Tournament. And that also has heavy themes of no, you are a dream. And there's a lot about sleeping and waking and all of that in Kingdom Hearts. So it's like, hmm, maybe you're going to start doing some of that too, if that makes any sense to people that haven't played it. So you're a dream. You're a dream from a dream world, but the dream world exists. So Kingdom Heartsy, you know? It, it seems to me that this Quadratum for Sora and Strelitzia is very much like... Uh, like I said, like, the, like she said, an afterworld. And maybe it's kind of like, for Sora and her, like Dreams Anarchind. You get what I'm saying? If you know the games, you might get what I'm saying. And it's like, they don't have to stay there, and they have a choice to go, but it's in a different way from Tidus in Final Fantasy X. Okay, so I just tried recording talking about what Dreams Anarchand is, and I realized it just makes me sound like a crazy person. So Dreams Anarchand in Final Fantasy X is a, it's an actual place, but it's made up of the dreams of the people who died sacrificing themselves to bring forth the Aeons to fight Sin, the big thing you're fighting in the game. So you have the real Xanarkand that you're traveling to, but then you also have Dream Xanarkand, which is this actual bustling city. Because it's the dreams and the memories of the people that lived there a thousand years before. But it is an actual place. But you just, it's, it's the going back and forth and being summoned and being made of fireflies that's the problem. But, and that's why Orin, who is in Olympus Coliseum, running around with Hades in Kingdom Hearts 2, that's, that's why that character's there, because he's dead. And he's just sticking around longer than he's supposed to, like his spirit is. I thought it was really interesting that, on top of everything, they call the opening music to Final Fantasy X when you're at the Blitzball tournament is called Otherworld. They use the term Afterworld in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, and that's why I was like, well, that's why Donald and Goofy are trying to get a hold of Hades. Well, then it came out, and Tetsuya Nomura confirmed that this is exactly what I said it was in my original video. It's, we can't say murdered, and we can't say died, but it's, these people actually live here, just like in Dreams Anarchand, but to Sora and, well, and Strelitzia, we think it is a underworld, an afterworld, an otherworld, and like I said, that's the opening music to Final Fantasy X. And now that I'm realizing that the similarities between these two are so close, I'm like, oh my god, Kingdom Hearts is so much shit about dreaming and waking and everything else, and all Final Fantasy X is is you end up finding out that you're the dream of a bunch of dead people and the memory. So I'm like, oh my god, is this just a, a more elaborate way of talking about Dreams Anarchand? And let me know if you think I'm right, because I'm like, oh my god. This is, th really think about it. If you play Final Fantasy X and you've played all the Kingdom Hearts stuff or most of it, or you know, you kind of know what's going on, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments, because I was like, I was at work the other night before they suspended me for being tardy. I don't know how you're just going to suspend people with no pay for being three minutes late. That's insane. But we're going to pretend that's not happening. But the other night I was on the job thinking about it, and I was like, God, dreaming, waking, let us go to sleep, let us pass on. Otherworld, afterworld, I was like, these are really close. And he worked on both of them. I still think the Master of Masters is Sora. Check out my buddy over at uh, Metropolis Days. He does great Kingdom Hearts content, too. He, he, like, actually plays and stuff and streams on his channel. He's in, And, like I said, when the Hearts Divergence... Uh, Metropolis days when they talk about Kingdom Hearts, I'm like, God, do I fucking know anything? So let me know what you think about my, uh, my Dream Xanarkand and Kingdom Hearts are kind of the same theory. I don't even know if this is a theory, I just wanted to talk about it. And I'm serious when I say don't give Donald shit. Donald's awesome. Donald's the best one in the party. <laughs> Maybe you'll notice any nerds, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you to the people that have subscribed. I really appreciate it. And we have fun over here. We're small, but we're awesome. And I just talk about random stuff. But I'm trying to get back on order. And now that I'm suspended, I should 
be catching up with things. <laughs> I think I have, I have Moon Knight recaps up, I have a bunch of stuff up, and yeah, go check it out. And I don't think Sora's a dream. I don't think it's the same, but it's like, what, what if we can go to Final Fantasy Worlds? That would be so cool if we could go to Spira and stuff. That would be awesome. And then, or, or, and I know everybody wants Marvel and Star Wars and wants these things, and that is cool, but, and I, I would love that. Of course I would love that, but it's just, you can do so much by doing this. And it's like Loki variants. It's like we can just keep going with stuff, but I do think Donald and Goofy should come over and I would love to see that. I really would, but I I knew that's why they were talking to Hades. I was like, they need to figure something out. And then they said Afterworld. I was like, oh, okay, they, they need, yeah, they need Hades help to maybe not find the underworld as he knows it. But I do think that, remember when him and Maleficent had Pandora's box in Kingdom Hearts 3 and it was kind of played as a joke? I think that might have something to do with it. Let me know, especially if you know more than I do, let me know down in the comments what you think about the words that are that are coming out of my mouth. But yeah, let me go catch up on all my other stuff and everyone stay safe out there.